Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Logic. So today we are going to see how we can develop main stack applications. So uh, we have started new playlist here. So uh, in this playlist we are going to see how we can uh, create a system for the main stack. Uh, we create a setup and then we'll create a new project there with the CRUD operations in it. Okay, so uh, without wasting any time, let's get started. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a setup for the, our uh, main stack application. First of all, in browser, we search for the Node.js and we'll go inside our Node.js application. You can download the latest version from Node.js here. Okay. So just click on that Node.js application. So it will install or it will download the Node.js and after that, we are going to install it. Okay, uh, it is a default installation. You just click on the next next button. If you want to change any parameters there, you can. Just uh, agree the terms and let's get started with the installation. We have selected all the entries as a default. We are not going to install the chocolatey here. next and the last thing install so i have already installed it so i'm not going to install it again okay let's close it and finish it after that after installation you can check uh, node hyphen v so it will give you the version of node inside our command prompt and we'll see check for the npm version also so you can type there npm command and uh, it will show you so yeah now we are going to install the angular cli so for that we are using a command npm install hyphen g for the global at the rate angular hyphen cli so yeah you can see install cli is installed successfully And then uh, to verify, uh, you can type the command ng version. So you can see that. So CLI is of 12.8 and node module is of 14. Okay. So it will give all the versions. And after that, uh, we are going to use the VS Code Editor here. So just download it. You can use any code editor. Uh, I am preferring here VS Code Editor. So for Windows, you can download it from there. Make sure you are downloading it from the official website. And lastly, we are going to use the MongoDB database. So for that, we are going to install the MongoDB from the command MongoDB community download. And here, inside a community server, there is a download option. So you can choose the any uh, device or OS you want. Let's start it with the download. For installation of MongoDB, we have to accept the terms and conditions and uh, complete installation. Just put it as it is default. And there it is an uh, option to install MongoDB Compass. So make sure you tick it mark. and uh, we have started the installation here it will take some time to install and after the installation you can see this is uh, our mongodb so you can click on that connect and we are inside our mongodb database so here you can create new database also so that's it for the video guys from the next video onwards we are going to see actual development of our project thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you in the next till then bye bye